Well, good morning, everybody. We are back with the camper, and we're going to go to work on it. It's been forever. Some of y'all were like, ah, he's never going to finish. He's never going to work on it again. We're back. We're going to work on the camper. I got the diesel heater running. We haven't, uh, it's been warm. It's been summer, so we haven't used it, but now it's getting cold. It's kind of cool this morning, so I'm running it, making sure it's running good. We got some camping trips coming up that we're going to need it on through the winter. But today, we are going to work on uh, the camper. So, I got me a new tool, Milwaukee uh, Orbital Sander here. So I'm pretty excited about that because we're going to need it. And uh, I got some Mountain Dew, so you know it's going to get serious. We got to sand this whole wall down. That back wall needs a little bit of sanding. It's uh, got a better finish on it. So this is all, they just, this wall is all gonna get painted, this wall is gonna get painted. So I gotta sand all this down, do some wood filler on it, sand that down, get it all nice, smooth, and then we gotta pick out some paint and paint it. So that's what we're gonna work on, sanding and wood filler to start with. We got a lot more stuff. I don't know how much we're gonna get down. We got air duct vent that needs to be put in here. We got ceiling to finish, but I'll probably need to, probably gonna paint before I finish the ceiling out to the wall. Uh, we got lots of trim pieces to do. Like this piece is all cut and in here. This one is not. That needs to be cut. Those take a while to measure and cut and fit and everything. Still got to do that door. It needs a cover. Still got doors that are supposed to go on that if I ever get around to it. We got to do the flooring one of these days. So lots of stuff left to do. But for now, we're going to work on sanding this and seeing where we can get with that. All right, Mountain Dew. No. You can't have this. It's got caffeine in it. It'll make you like a little chipmunk. You'll just run around and climb up trees and eat acorns. Ugh, it's terrible. <laughs> Tastes like medicine. Good daddy. Alright, let's set this on kind of a medium. <laughs> Side. This one doesn't need it because this is a pretty sanded board. We run over all that with 80 grit. Now I think I'm going to go through and do some wood filler and fill in where the screws are at, a few of the knot holes a little bit, just try to smooth it out and then we'll probably hit it with some 220 after that. Just trying to make it as smooth as we can. It doesn't have to be perfect but try to get it smooth before we paint it and everything. So I'm going to see what this wood filler does and how it how it goes on how it fills in the holes i haven't okay. used wood filler a whole lot but we're gonna try this and 
and see what happens. those filled up they're not perfectly smooth obviously once it dries I'll run the sander over it and then see how it's looking and may have to touch some of them up and do it again I think I've got them all filled for now run the sander over it once they dry and then see how they're looking so that's where we're at currently so while we're waiting on all the wood filler to dry we're gonna take the bunk off I've got to get a new windshield. You can see this is broken. So I need to take the bunk off so that I can get the windshield replaced. And I've got all this woodwork up here that also needs what we just did on this. And the bunk needs it. The bunk needs to be painted. So we're going to take it all off and start working through sanding and finishing out some of this. Unclip this. Unclip this. And the bed is off. Now we know better. It's yep. this bed off in a long time now like a year i haven't had it off since i put it on it's actually a lot more room in here it feels roomier when the bed's off so anyway i don't have to sand this too much because the ultimate plan here is to have a face on this part a piece of plywood all the way around the edge and this groove here is actually going to have two sliding doors in it if i ever get around to building them um and that'll kind of hide what's back in here this up here i'll also cut a finish piece to go over the whole top of it so a lot of this doesn't really need to be finished out i've got it smoothed out enough where a piece of plywood will fit over it smoothly over all the screws and everything so i don't actually need to fill these holes because this will get a face this will get a cover face and then that's what will actually be painted not these boards so this is a little bit rough took a while to frame all this up when i did that like a, over a year ago now so this part is good. We do need to sand down and smooth out the bed so it can be painted. We're gonna 
this is all dry now, so we're going to run through and sand it with the 220 grit sandpaper. We'll run through, sand that, sand all this one, and then see where we're at. I'm not sure yet if I need to try to fill more of the grain on this. There's definitely still a little bit of, it's, it's just plywood isn't that smooth, so. Haven't decided yet if I need to do that again, or not. But we're going to sand this down, see what it's doing. It's the next day. Everything is sanded dry. I went and got some paint. So we're going to be painting in a minute. I do need to still get a couple pieces of wood cut and then get this piece cut. We need some stuff with this duct work. Put a vent in. I got a couple things to do. But first, I've come up with a very bad idea. And we're going to see what happens. I've got a giant pile of firewood over here. Some great big logs that I've got to get split. Cut up a big tree the other day. I gotta get all this firewood split over here. That's what I've split already. These are the logs and they are, we got some big ones to split. But I got this random idea to do this because I really want to see, let's do a flex test. Let's see what the Suburban will do. Do you think, leave a comment if you think the Suburban could get on top of that log or if it's gonna stop way down here. I have no idea. And this is probably a really bad idea, but we're gonna try it anyway. Yeah, this is definitely a bad idea. Oh, I think that's all she's got. Not very much, but the back wheel started spinning, so that means uh, that's pretty much all we got. I mean, it is a Suburban. It's not that bad. <laughs> I didn't really think it'd make it up there. I just wanted to see. See what, see what this side looks like. All the flex on these is in the back, pretty much. Ugh, looking a little stuffed and these are worn out tires it is not hitting anything with new tires on here it will barely rub at full flex just barely rub on the fender well not enough to hurt anything but that's what we got maybe i should try the truck too you want to see the truck i thought so
I think the truck is doing a little better, but I think I built my wood pile a little better. But I do think it is still about to fall. Uh, poor truck. So mean to this thing. <laughs> she, she little stuff. this kids is how you flip your truck over in your yard don't be me okay we should probably stop now I was thinking I could probably get the truck up here, but my wood pile keeps shifting, so I need to stop before I break something. <laughs> we'll go back to work on the camper. All right, enough with the shenanigans and time to start painting. The walls are gonna be this gray color, so we're gonna start painting the walls, paint around the walls. At some point I'll paint inside the shelves as well, just to give them a light seal, but I'll do that later if I got enough of this paint left. Paint all these walls gray and go from there. too bad definitely needs a second coat and it's drying so fast now that I've gone all the way around I can just start back at the beginning and hit it again so let's do a second coat
All right, guys, there you have it. Our gray paint is up. Got a couple coats on that side of the bed. I'll flip that over and paint the other side later. But this is probably all I'm going to get done today. Trying to get some stuff done on this. We're going on a couple trips coming up to some state parks and stuff here pretty soon. So trying to get a few things done while we're home this weekend. I'm going to try to focus on the interior. You see we've got to finish the roof, which I need to get this paint done first. Lots of trim work to do and floor to do. So I'm going to try to focus on the interior. I have almost everything for it except for some window cover material and some trim, a little bit of trim stuff. But we basically have everything for the interior just sitting, waiting to be installed. So try to get that done. Got some duct work to do, some wiring, some uh, plugs and stuff I'm going to put in. So I'm going to try to focus here in the near future on getting the interior done as much as I can. I'm going to try to get a few more things done before we go camping coming up. But yeah, this is what we got. And I think, and some of y'all probably say, you can see the finish on this. It's it's still paint, painted plywood. And I could have covered this with the wood filler and really smoothed it out. But I didn't feel like it was necessary. And some of y'all might be going, why did you paint instead of doing like a nice trimmed out wood or something? I would much rather have made this like finished cedar, all polyurethane, really pretty. Would have been amazing i would I, I would do this if i didn't have a bunch of kids if it's just me and sarah i would have custom done a lot more work in here on the wood finish but we got four kids and another on the way as you probably know so paint is easy it's easy to touch up it's easy to fix this will definitely get scuffed and scratched and beat up because we use it all the time and there's a bunch of little kids in here so that's going to happen so this will be the easiest way to touch things up I think I am going to, I'm not really happy with how these look. They're not bad, but you can see some of them aren't real straight. They're okay. They're fairly functional. I don't quite like the look of them. I don't really like the look when they're full. I'm debating over whether to put doors on them or to just do some trim. I was going to just do like a plastic trim that just fit over the wood, but I'm now debating about doing like a ring around it of wood somehow and kind of trimming that out, paint it a different color kind of what I'm leaning towards right now but I'm not really sure what do you guys think leave me a comment tell you tell me what you think I like the way these turned out better with the rounded corners versus these I think these look a little bit better but I would still like to trim them out with a different I'm thinking a wood strip around them which is going to be a pain to do but I think that would look good with a different color trim around it and I think I need to do that to, to clean it up and give a little more character to this wall so let me know what you think I should do, or if you've got a better idea than what I'm thinking. Just leave us a comment and let us know. Um, so yeah, more soon, I hope. Still got more stuff. I gotta trim this out. We need a new windshield. I'm gonna try to get that done soon. We also need new tires. I'm gonna try to get that done really soon, and a few other things. I gotta build a panel for this door. So we're gonna try to keep working on it and see what we get done. The baby is due early January. So once the baby gets here, we'll probably take off a little while from camping. So I'll probably be able to focus on building the camper for a little while, just because January, February is really cold to be taking a newborn camping. I'm not saying we won't, but we'll be less likely to. So I may be able to yank everything out and just focus on building it for a little while so we can get some more progress done. But yeah, that is where we are <coughs> at on the ridiculous Suburba camper. So, lots of interior work, lots of kitchen work, but I'm just gonna not worry about the kitchen right now, it's functional. I'm gonna focus on the inside, and hopefully soon we'll get the money to do solar. Because I really need solar and batteries. It's just so expensive. So, yeah, that's where we're at. And with that, I think we'll call it a day. And I'm going to go take a break. We'll see you next time.